Yo guys, it's Chris here, and I'm Spring Gamer. Welcome back to more Heartbeat. Last time on Heartbeat, we got Luca in our party now, and I'm actually really excited to see what she can do. If I can go to the status. So yes, we got Luca after fighting her a couple times last episode. We finally got her in our party. An oddball scientist with a questionable past, which is awesome. So anyway, today on Heartbeat, well, we're going to be leaving Oteco and leave, going back out to the Hermosa Path, and... Moving on to the next town, possibly. But first, there's this treasure chest. Love letter dressed as Eve found. Okay. Can I read that one? Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Apparently, I can't. Apparently, it's not in here. All right. Whatever. Fine. But anyway, let's just leave this town. I'll, although, it should be mentioned, I'll, off screen, I stocked up a little bit on uh, cupcakes, brownies, and a couple sugar buns. Sugar buns, excuse me. Um, so we should be doing what fell on well on heart uh, health uh, pulse replenishment. So let's move on to the to the Aramosa Plains. And I think the path that we needed to go down to was somewhere down here that leads. Um, that leads. I can't remember the name. It leads to the next path. Okay, that's what I was trying to remember. And I'm going to try to avoid these mogs as much as much as I can because I really don't want to get into a fight right now. Never mind. Of course I get into a fight as soon as I say it. But anyway, I, while we're kind of, uh, I, I think at this point it would seem like it. I think we're kind of about, well, I'll, I'll, I'll save that for, uh, for a little bit. Let's just see how Luca does and wow. Okay. Luca packs a bit of a punch. Um, oh, Luca fell asleep, wonderful. Okay, that's, that's fine I suppose. Just, just, just fall asleep in the middle of a battle. Your questionable past certainly is showing. Of course. It's just these, uh... Sheep. They look like marine to me, but they're basically just sheep. They, 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 they're nasty with their, their hypnosis and their their sleep-inducing moves and whatnot. No one climbing any level. Okay, wonderful. Uh, was it down here? Yes, it was down here. Okay. Aramosa Plains. All right, so what's the sign guys say? Watch your step. Hmm, okay. What does that mean, watch your step? Ah, okay. So we can actually see um, the pathways that we can take using this. What is this about? Peppermint tea found. Oh, okay, so you can find items on here as well. So there's, there's, there's little... I'm gonna have to fight this, of course. Oh, a couple new enemies, okay. That's nice. I'm gonna probably ch uh, cut this out because... Stuff that we don't really need to show for right now. Because even though the new enemies are probably... They, they look like they're no different. Yeah, they're no different from the enemies we're fighting boards. It's just transformed versions. They're gonna put to sleep two of us. Oh, that's not good. And Klein woke up, okay, so that's good. Hmm. I'm gonna get the rest of this out, so yeah. Hmm, I'm curious. Test subjects. Whoa, here come the spores, cretins. Well, let's just see what that does. Probably gonna be a one hit kill, maybe, I hope. Ooh. That's pretty powerful. And they were, I think they were still guarding on that turn, too, which is good. That's gonna be useful. Alright, this treasure. Oh, come on. There's a plant there. I can't get through it. Okay, whatever. But anywho, kind of while we're going through this little pathway here, and there's a Mog. Um, I gotta say, it, this game's actually been pretty fun so far. Um, even though it's, it's most, it's, it's blind, even though it's blind at this point, it's actually been relatively easy to figure out, <laughs> you know, mechanics and what things do and whatnot, and also this apparently maze. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've never really done a blind Let's Play before, at least blind mostly. So it's actually been kind of interesting to see, you know, what the game has in store on, uh, you know, in the live recording. Bucket defib. Um, nope. I've been really having a lot, a really good time with it. There we go. Oh, we don't have, oh, we do have him, okay. What's in here? Ooh, an item. I mean, to be honest, the game has actually also been pretty pretty difficult. I mean, bosses are more or less pretty difficult. 
pretty difficult. It's not a flower smell. Get it right, man. What was he saying? I was kind of just writing, smell man, that's a smell Avenger man. Oh, it's not a sunflower smell. Get it right, man. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is just... The game's been difficult, yeah, but it's not been so overly difficult that it just, you know, takes away from the experience. And some of the, uh, more humorous edits I've been making so far in the Let's Play have been, have been funny in my opinion. She's getting away! What was that? I heard that too. Sounds like chatter. What's going on down here? It wasn't my fault! Something's going- Like I'm supposed to believe that! Something's going on down here. How am I supposed to get a hold of a wisp, huh? Pike, you blubbery buffoon. You let your bounty- our bounty get away again. I'm tired of having to tell Wake about your blubbery buffoonery. I keep telling you! That conjurer held me up! I couldn't- could have gotten that wisp bounty by now! Ah, a likely story. You know what? I've beaten Wake once. I can beat her again. I ain't scared. Watch your mouth, girl. If she were here right now, you would still be so sure. So, if I, should I tell General Yorsk about your cooperation problems again, then? The nerve. You're just an outset mog. You shouldn't be talking like that, love. Uh, huh. It's you guys again. They're talking about the wisp. I knew these, these idiots would know. Eavesdroppers. A siren guard out here in the outset. Fo-ho! This one is a small specimen, isn't she? Why don't you mind your own business, huh? And what are we about the pipe right the princess? You're after our bounty too, aren't you? Or did you catch her already? Which one of you chuckleheads is the wisp? Pike, grab him, you lowly outset scoundrel. Whoa, settle down. Is that, how, is that how dense soldiers treat each other? All rude like that? Oh yeah? Well, eavesdropping is just as rude. Eve, she's right, you know. Why? The, whose side are you on, Klein? You guys again? Why you're always following me? Because you're in my way, you ugly potato, trying to steal my book and our, my, our wisp. See? These guys are the ones I told you about to skip. They're holding me up. Shut up! I overheard you guys talking about stealing my book. You started this. No way you guys attacked me first. And no, I don't have your stupid book. Nobody's allowed to bully Pike and Wake, but Wake and I, and maybe the General. Jeez. Why didn't you leave the den, den business at the den, you sad excuse of a conjurer? I heard them call her Eve Skip. This shoddy thing bears in the old master's name. Ha! Ah, look at her! So plain. You'll eat your own- your, you'll eat your words, siren. Humans, 95% water, your spells will be useless. Ahem, humans are 65% water, my dear. Simpleton friend. Dang it, Eve! It's your body! Make it 100% water now! Ugh, look, Pike, if you can beat her, I won't tell Wake about your incompetence. Promise you'll stop making fun of me? Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Brace yourself, Eve. Another boss fight, huh? Well, actually, it's not really a boss fight. It's just more like a normal fight. It's okay. I probably should have healed before this. What else do you got there, Luca? Just a little tap, dear. Don't worry. <laughs> Spinal tap. Failed serums now made to be useful for battle. Melatonin. Hmm. Comes with a pill for or former chewy tablets. Your pick. <laughs> I love these descriptions. Uh, I'm not sure. This should be fine. Uh, bonk. No, actually, it's, it's, it's water. Yeah, this should be fine. Uh, chop and swipe. Should be good for now. Or well, maybe not. This He's got a, a lot of attack power, unfortunately. And the client is already down. Uh, this is not looking good for me right now. Uh, this is not really not looking good for me. Uh, let's try acidic, acidic hazard. See what that does. Uh, spinal type might be nice. Galaxy spin. Uh, chop. Oof. We're taking quite a bit of damage though. Eve is already down. Um, this is not looking good. If I, if I, if I go down here, I'm definitely... Going to go all the way back to Oteco because I didn't, I really didn't, I didn't really think I would need to, really didn't need to save before this. I really wasn't expecting a boss fight. There goes my phone, of course. And, um, chip is down. Wonderful. Jesus. This is not going well for me.
Nope, we're done here, I think. Almost. No, oh, we're done here. It's like these boss fights are getting harder and harder so fast. It's, it's, it's really difficult to keep up with it. <sighs> All right, finally back into this fight. Jeez. I'm gonna start with the test subject this time. And go all out on our first turn. Uh, I guess that should be fine. Go all out. Deal as much damage initially as possible, trying to get ourselves a head start on them. So we're pretty fast, or much a little bit faster than them, mostly. <laughs> um, while it was off, while I was off screen trying to get back over here, um, I uh. I, I bought, I basically fed Bucci, so he's a lot more powerful than he was before, so he should be able to help us a little bit more than he has been. So that should be really good. And reflexes again, feeling rampage. He's doing a lot more damage than he did before, so. Because we had a lot of treats that he was able, that we had on hand for him. So yeah. Probably going to along with Evie, Evie, no Eve and uh, Luca, heal on uh, Chip and Klein. Try to keep ourselves alive as much as possible. Try to deal as much damage each turn as we possibly can. Um, not having anybody go down, hopefully. Heal on you again. Chapters. Yeah, and go for it. Nope. Chapters. Muscle. There we go. I don't. I don't like how they cover up the uh, your uh, health and your your pulse and beat while this is up. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but whatever. Feeling rampage and move on. That's good. Okay. Nope. She's down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a pocket defib. I've also bought some pocket defibs off off screen as well. Item. Uh, Brandy bites for all of you, because it heals everybody apparently. There we go. That's what I like to see. Okay, we uh, we got full heart again. We can use that. Sugar bun for you. Chop, chop. And reflexes. Oh, I can't use that. Wonderful. Okay, fair enough. Oh, there goes Klein. Wonderful. Yeah, Pocky Defib. <laughs> I just need, the, I need everybody alive for this one. Nope. Um, tempo. Actually, spin. And chop. Oh, for Christ's sake, no! We needed you. I'm not gonna let you take me down like that. You're not letting me getting me to take me down that easy. Not this time. Oh, for Christ's sake, I didn't need to go through. Quite sure what happened there. I think we're just about done with this. I think we just 
full on attack with everybody right now and just take him take him down. Or her, I'm not sure. Most of the characters in this game for some reason are women. Not quite sure what's up with that, but alright. Not to say that's a bad thing, of course. It's just it's, it's it's strange to be playing a game where most of the protagonists and or antagonists are are female rather than male. It's kind of a kind of a departure from you know what normally what the norms for antagonists and protagonists. Because it's almost always you know uh, male over female. But we won that battle thankfully. Only took a couple tries and we leveled up big time there. Okay, that's good. I think Butchie leveled up there was pretty good too. <laughs> hey, no fair! How could you beat up a mog so cute as I? You guys are so mean. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Skip. First you beat on poor Arm Pike. Then you go after little old me. Foho. Are you, do you try to attack Eve first, you silly Billy Seagoat? Only for the constant compromising of our plans before. And you quit running your mouth, nerd. I don't even know who you are. We're both after a wish, right? Why can't we just work together? Shut your trap, Eve. You have no business with our bounty. The general assigned us. Speaking of which, I have to do something b b b before General York finds out. Sh she'll have a have her hides and clothes lined if we f f fail. You know what? I'll tell you wake of all this. You'll see. F f you haven't seen anything yet. You're all in it for now. Forget them, Skip. Let's just do our jobs. Ah, right, right. The more time spent loitering, and the, the farther you our bounty shall be. <laughs> then, then when I cash in that reward, I'll bribe all my brothers to beat you all up. F f I have so many brothers. Or I could just ask Wake to do it. Seriously, Skip, just drop it. But, but, but they beat me up! They beat you up! So, we're not here for them. Quit embarrassing yourself. Uh, I, 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 why, why am I being, am I really being embarrassing? You surely, you jest, Pikael. Well, whatever, we'll see who's embarrassing after Wake deals with this mess. Er, Eve, was it? I know you guys aren't here for the money, but... Skip and Wake hate human intervention. If you could help with weakening the Wisp or something, that'd be great. I went down Route 182. That's all we know, all the info I know. Ah, uh, thank you, Pike. You know, out of you three, I like you the most. Don't be a pushover, you potato. You shouldn't have charged us for this info. You're a Shoggin. If other organisms prove a nuisance, why don't you just devour them? That's enough, you two. Sorry for getting in the way, Pike. We just want to stop that Wisp from hurting others. Hey, how about this? If we have any your perp, we'll hand you her over to you, okay? Then you can stick it to those guys right up, uh, Skip, and Wake's noses. Thank you, Eve. That would be nice. Pike, darling, hurry up! Are you sure you're still lagging back there? Oh, we got mail. What mail do we have? You're going all the way to Harbay too, too? That's so far. You and text me because Chip texted her, so and uh, so uh, and so yeah, I know, okay. Don't forget about me. Looks like a, a, the outbreak of Red Eye Mogwai has spread farther than Corona Woods. They need to be stopped. Keep a clear eye out. I had a weird dream. Dream. They, they were, these were all in it. I took three naps, but I'm still tired. You're only a staccato in the... Oh, we already read that one. Okay. I don't know what this this island message is because it's, it's creepy. But all right. I guess continuing move, moving through the route would be fine. Oh, hey, Shep's here. That's nice. I just saw a bunch of grumpy fish run off this way, cuz. Didn't even bother looking at my wares or nothing. Heh, <laughs> must be just cuz I'm a mog out here in the woods. Nothing weird. So mundane. Always been a Nord. Ah, you won't ignore me, right, cuz? What'll it be? Let's see what you got on sale right here. Um. Mm, I think some per familiar perfume would be nice. And one of the, or a couple of these, child's drawing, okay. And what equipment do you have uh, available for me right now? No! Nope. Uh, Ushanka. That's expensive. Very, very expensive. Increase agility by four, defense by two, polo shirt, attack by three, luck by three. Yeah, I'm also gonna grab a peplum shirt as well. Leg warmers, magic defense three. Yeah, that's expensive, that Ushanka, but it increases magic defense by a significant amount. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go for it. Now, what's confusing me so far is that I haven't been able to find 
literally anything that I can equip to Klein or, you know, Traz or Rex or anybody for that matter. Like, it, it's always been for... It's always been for uh, Eve, and that's it's confusing to me. I'm not quite sure what that's going on with that. But all right, I guess it's fine. Okay, continuing on through the route, because I'm not going to end the episode quite yet, because um, we've still got a few more ways to go. I, end, I generally try to end off an episode um, when we're at the next town, which is kind of what I've been doing anyway. So, a strange voice you to the phone. Your psychic advisor here. Stay away from the flashing red lights. You hang up. Okay, not quite as creepy as the last one, but alright. But yeah, I've been, I've been trying to end the episodes off on uh, when we get to the next town, because they're not all that far off in, in admittance, because the routes here are surprisingly short. And I think that's probably a, a limitation... Oh, they're not here either. I've looked everywhere. That voice, that sounds familiar. Thindalos. Oh, it's the Sheep Squatch guys. This place, Tindalos. This is a Sheep Squatch settlement. Those fellows are from the back from Chumberg. Eve, thanks to heavens you're here. These two knuckleheads just lost the pups again. Er, no, it wasn't our fault. Heidi bows head in shame. Jake probably scared them off with all his yelling. That's not true. My babies love me. You two just weren't in watching them correctly. Jake, innocent this time. Nothing new here. The sheep squatches to button heads each other as usual. Heidi senses minotaur, minotaur hostility. Some monks just never get along, do they? First they take over the grazing fields in the den. Then, then now they move here? Miss Conjurer, I thought you would know better than to befriend tiny, rude minotaurs. Who cares about all that stuff? My puppies are missing. Hey, hey, no more fighting, okay? Then tell us, just tell us what happened. Blah! Our pups got lost again. It's making their little brother and sister hounds antsy. It's hard to find them when they're scared because they just turn, um, invisible. Yes, they hide in corners and, well... They're probably all over Outset by now, all by their lonesome selves. My baby's scared. Heidi saw monsters took spook hounds. Huh? Heidi saw a strange mod Heidi can't describe. You think a mod spooked them? But we would have seen them. For ho, a mod where they can hide from from the naked eye, huh? Piece of cake. Oh, right, Luca can see pheromones. We can totally help you guys. I don't want to help no butt ugly sheep squatches. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Besides, these pups are quite cute. Eve, as a human, I'm sure you know how anxious these hounds can get, right? I mean, they're anxiously twitching either way. We'll be helping. R really? Oh, glorious day. Thank you, thank you. Heidi thanks Hunter and friends, Minotaur included, for now. Th thank you. How can we ever repay you? I sent something interesting in their bodily fluids. Yes, truly interesting. I could make use of these hounds of yours for in my future experiments. What, what are you saying? Pup experiments? Relax, it's only their saliva that I need. It's just a saliva. Uh, that's kind of sounds sort of... Sounds fine by me. We'll have a vile puppy slobber for you when you get back. I hate this. Listen up, four of them are missing. I expected they wandered off into cities. I always tell them in case of strangers, stranger danger, find a place with lots of people. I feel like that we would cause a stir among the humans if they saw such puppies. No way! Humans dealt with way worse back in the day. This is nothing. Should they be normal for you, Eve? Humans are puppy magnets. I mean, like dogs, but this? Regardless if finding those pups is what it takes those us through, then so be it. So we gotta find pups, huh? And there's a grate here I'm gonna activate real quick. This takes us to Tindalos, if it's to be believed. Tindalos, yep. Okay. So Tindalos. Is this just another town or something? Is it? Or can I move on? I cannot move on. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to switch to Luca. Tinless Farm. Let me get someone something on. Nope. Something on Shatter. Alright, so I was I was a little confused. Like, do we really have to go all the all the to the all these places? And apparently, we do. So the first place we should go is Oteco, since it's right near the next door anyway. Oh, hey, I can get this on my way back. Okay, so let's see. Where are you? Aha! There we go. Oh, we have to fight him. 
That should be too difficult, though. Although, that, uh, that healing is a bit, a bit difficult, a uh, bit, uh, severe, too. Oh, jeez. How often are you gonna heal? Tell me. Not overly powerful with their, with his attacks, too. Okay. I guess tempo all the way. Oh, there goes Klein. Wonderful. Just wonderful. go that's that's done with doesn't give a whole lot of experience unfortunately you found a tinless pup Ugh, what in the world are the were these things I don't know I never seen anything like it where are these omogs I've seen the likes of those things before down in the den at least I hope none of you looked them in the eye that was a kukene a, a kukunkenu kunkun tendril how bizarre could it be they had eyes couldn't see well, with your hair in the way, but yeah, it was too busy. I was too busy looking out for the pup. Why does it matter anyway? There are no coon coon in the outset. We should focus on the matter at hand. There are three more pups of those pesky hounds. Hmm. Okay. I suppose the next place should be the sandbar. I'm probably gonna check all of them. Um, just one by one, because I'm not quite sure where they're exactly going to be located. But if there's one in the sandbar, that'll be kind of funny. Does not look like there is any in there. Okay. Alright, it didn't look like there was anything in the sandbar, but an arrow sir, possibly could be one here. If I were to take a wild guess. So we can go through here now. Now we have, uh, Luca. Hmm, let me talk to them. Okay. They're willing to relocate, but we're very—they're they're very disappointed in you, Eve. Ah, oh, man, we had to—we had to evict something. What is this? What the heck? What did I just get myself into? Slurp. They got the good fish in here, man. It makes Tiny Ani want to scream. What? What is this place? Seriously, what, what is this place? Once the rain touches the soil, the water turns acidic. This world is full of wonders. The rain makes it hard to fly around these parts, but I guess it's okay. I mean, taking all the world's wonders one step at a time ain't so bad, huh? I'm just not sure what this place is. I saw nothing. Nothing at all. Munch, munch. Don't tell anyone anything. Munch. It's a box of slimy fish. What is this place? Okay, apparently I can fish here. Or can I? Maybe? Possibly? Looks like I got away. Okay. Well, apparently you can fish there now. I'll probably have to come back here later for that. Okay. I, I'm not really particularly good with uh, fishing quite yet, but that's actually pretty cool. I never actually knew that was there. I don't want that. There we go. Yeah, I actually never really knew that was there. I'm kind of glad I came through here. 
All this time I've been wondering what's been over here. Now I know it's over here. And a little stuffy nose right now. Ah, there it is. Well, I probably should uh, uh, heal Klein while I'm here. Get everyone their feet back up to speed. There we go. Now I think we're ready. All right, that's the second one. Ah, there's gunk everywhere. It's all over my tunic. The saliva from these hands work the same way as, as an old tincture. Remember, Klein. What nonsense are you spouting now? I have no idea what you're talking about. But why steal when they could have just asked these soup, those suit squatches? Bet you they were, all, they were all rude. Those woolly weirdos probably deserved this then. Regardless, two more to go. Ugh. All right, so two more to go, huh? Well, I, I suppose while I'm here, I could heal up a little bit. Because I don't want to use um, a healing item. Because I don't have a whole ton of them. And they're limited. So, <laughs> there's a bed up here anyway. So, it's, it's, it would be a good idea to... to it would really be a good idea to just to heal up while, we, while we're here before we move on. So, I'm going to take this off real quick. Alright, Soul Burger is our next destination, and already we found what we need right down here. Also, can I mention one thing here? These things look weird! Like, what is? what are these things supposed to be? I mean, I'll, I'll probably look it up later, but what are these things? Seriously. They're strange looking creatures. I'm just not quite sure what they are. We found a Tindlos pup. Toxin mogs, Tindlos puppies, all disgusting. Can't stand all this slobber. Now, now, Chip, you want, you should know that all things have quality. As light provides safety, it can also blind. Just as toxins cause disease, it can create p p uh, p p panaceas all the while. And yet, Earth is just dirt, isn't it? Whoa! Okay, Luca, that's enough. We got one more to go. It can't be. Hmm? What was that now, Klein? Nothing. Let us continue. Okay. I think uh, Sunwitch is our next destination. Funny going back there again. If I can find it. Chumberg. Oh, there was a... There was one there. Sunwitch. Oh, what? Why is the gate closed? Seriously. Why is the gate closed? That's, that's, that's a bit strange. I, I didn't notice that before. Also, there's a thing we can break down there while we're here. Probably should break it down. What is inside? Ah, oh, okay. That's nice. Bit of a shortcut. Okay, that's, that's, that's good to know. I'll have to remember that for later for where we're back here in these woods, although I probably don't think we will be. I'm also kind of curious to see how powerful we've gotten so far. Um... Oh, there's a mog right up there. I'm probably going to be... I'm probably going to fight anyway if I can't get around it. But we're going to see how, how powerful... Cruising for a snooze and that's got just a guy to achievement, apparently. But yeah, let's, let's, see how, let's see how powerful we've actually gotten. Just, just, just for the kicks of it. Even Bucci. Um, just an, almost annihilates that bat. They just took that one out in one hit. I wasn't even able to see how the extent of how powerful we can be against these early game enemies. That's funny. Eh. Okay, it looks like Zen, uh, Zen's house over here. Let's see what she got. I'm just kind of seeing what people got over here after be having not been here for a while. When you beat up that nasty cluster, come back and talk to me here. Oh, we still have to beat up that stupid cluster. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> ignore you. and Back up to Sunwitch. Oh, can't fish here. I know that. There we go. Aha, there you are. All right, the final one, thankfully. You found a Tindalos pup. Whoever mismatched my this, this wasn't expecting the hounds to be so robust. Are you suspecting that we're trying to milk these hounds of their venom? Since the toxin Mog did this, I'd say it was for less for making poison and more for enhancing their own power. Typical Mog behavior. But if they were able to corner uh, four hounds of Tindalos on their own, 
what is the what is the use to tell another, to fell another mog or simply to a test of strength? The simplest reasoning tends to be the best. Testing our own abilities, I take it. Well, we've taken our four, our four and there aren't any signs of retaliation, so perhaps you're right. Maybe it's like your whisk client just wanting to show off their guns. A smog I love to do, love to boast. Tut tut, time to return to these hounds through the tin loaves and grab my legally obtained reward. All this crazy stuff, you're all trouble, I swear. Our legally obtained reward, of course. Okay. Also, there is a grate up there, right? Because if I ever have to come back to uh, Sunwitch, I hope I can get back through here through the grates. No. No? Oh, there it is. It's up here. Okay. Apparently, we haven't gone through it quite yet. I, mean, I, I actually thought we might have actually already gone through it. Okay. All right. Back to Tindalo's farm, I think it was. I'll switch to Eve. Where do I go here? Oh, there we go. How's it, Tindalos? You did it! Thank you, Eve and Eve's friends. That's right, even this Minotaur here helped help carry these pucks back. I did it because I had to. Hmm? I guess. But Minotaurs aren't as selfish as they seem. Now take Jake and Heidi. They can calm the other pups down. Yay! They should be back to, to their playful selves by now, I think. Now that the pups are happy and not as worried as more, they should let you pass. And as promised, the vile puppy drool for Miss Kyochu here. It's Stolas, but thank you. <laughs> if you guys ever need naps with puppy cuddles, we're here. Thank you, Jazz. Naps with puppy cuddles. Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay, so we can we can apparently sleep here. Okay. Well, the episode's gone on for quite long enough, I think, at this point. So I think I'm gonna end things off here. So I think, like, join me next time for more, you know. Jump cut! Okay, so I think I'm probably gonna end the episode off here. We're kind of going long here. I don't want it to be a little bit too long on that side. So I think, join me next time for more Heartbeat, where we leave Tindalos Farm and hopefully make it to the next town and see what happens over there. See you guys later.